What is going on guys? I am Consumer Tech Review and today I'm going to be going over the top 10 best budget mechanical keyboards. I'm going to go over the pros and the cons going from the worst of the best down to the best of the best at number one. And at any point during the video, if you want to check out any of the 10 keyboards in this video, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada. I do got you guys, but let's jump into number 10. And that is the Red Dragon K552, super budget friendly, coming in at only 43 bucks, so really affordable. All right, build quality is solid. There is a metal deck on top and then the shell of it is actually one piece of plastic and everything is solid. Everything fits together nicely and it creates a very solid typing experience. And this does have flip up risers and overall it's a minimal but clean design. All right, now the switches. This is using Altemu blue switches. This is a clicky tactile switch. So if you're just getting into mechanical keyboards, this switch is what a lot of people like because it's very tactile. It's very satisfying to use. This is how it sounds. And that's how it sounds. All right, RGB, it's perky lighting, super customizable. You got tons of modes. It's pretty vibrant. It's pretty bright, especially for this price point. So yeah, overall, the RGB is good. It is hot swappable with other Altemus, but it does not have a detachable cable. All right, moving on to the number nine spot. This is the Ractus RTK61, super budget friendly. Again, coming in at just under $60. This keyboard is really good for the price. All right, build quality is good. It comes with a pretty generic uh, one piece plastic case for the bottom. There's no flip up risers, but it is a slanted case. So that is nice. Uh, however, the big thing with the build quality here is it comes stock with double shot PBT putting keycaps, which is awesome. All right, now the switches. This is using Gateron optical switches, which is a really good switch for the price point. You can pick from reds, blues, browns, and blacks. So you've got a lot of different options there. Now, overall, these feel really good and very, very smooth. However, the sound is a little bit hollow due to the keycaps. Take a listen. And that's how it sounds. Doesn't sound bad, it just sounds a little bit hollow. If you added some dampening to the case, it'd probably be really great. All right, RGB is awesome. It's super bright. It fully fills out those putting keycaps, which is harder to do than you might think. Uh, it's very vibrant. You got reds, blues, greens, all of the really, really vibrant colors, which not every keyboard has. So if you're big into RGB and you wanna match your setup, this would be a good one to do that. And it's just super RGB. If you like RGB and like lights like that, this is a good keyboard. All right, this is hot swappable with other Gateron optical switches, and it does use a detachable USB-C cable for connection. All right, moving on to the number eight spot. You've probably never heard of this keyboard before, but it is the Drevo Blade Master SE. This is an incredibly budget-friendly keyboard at only 40 bucks. This is the cheapest keyboard on the list. All right, build quality is surprisingly premium. There is a single piece of aircraft grade aluminum on the top that curves into the base, which is pretty expensive to make. So. Pretty amazing on this $40 keyboard. Uh, as well as that, all the plastics are high quality. They have like a metallic-y kind of look to them. They look very high quality and everything fits well together. Uh, it does have flip up risers and it also has this really cool wheel that's made of metal on the side so you can scroll with it, you can turn up your volume, play, pause, it does a lot of cool stuff. So that's something cool on this keyboard. All right, the switches are Outema switches. You can either get browns, blues, or reds. I do recommend reds for this keyboard. And the stabilizers are surprisingly good at this price point. Here's the sound test of the keyboard. And that is how the Blade Master SE sounds. All right, the RGB is really good for this price point. It's vibrant, it's got a bunch of modes, perky lighting, you guys know it. Uh, but for the price point at 40 bucks, it's really freaking good. And this is not hot swappable. We expect that at this price point and there is no detachable cable. Moving on to the number seven spot, this is the Red Dragon K580. This is a full size keyboard, but it's still budget friendly at 63 to 70 bucks. All right, build quality is really good. It has a metal top plate with shiny machined exposed metal edges, which is so cool. Uh, now this also has flip up risers, obviously, and it has a scroll wheel, which is really cool for volume. But yeah, overall, it feels very, very solid. All right, now let's talk switches. There are two options for this keyboard. You can either get Altemu blue switches or you can get Altemu optical brown switches. Now, optical Altemu switches are way different than normal Altemu switches. The Altemu optical browns feel better than Gateron browns, yes. Very smooth, very solid. Here is the sound test, take a listen.
And that is how the K580 sounds with optical browns. All right, RGB is typical Red Dragon. It's got a ton of different modes. It's got per key lighting. It's bright. It's got good vibrancy, just like most Red Dragon keyboards. However, it has two side RGB strips, which are really, really cool, especially when you're gaming at night and you're just like in the zone, you're gaming, and the RGB is just glowing on the desk, it's cool. And the side RGB can all be customized as well. This is not hot swappable, and it doesn't have a detachable cable. Moving on to the number six spot, this is the Wamir K87 coming in at just 77 bucks. You get a lot for your money. All right, build quality is the most unique on the list because it's made of three layers of this organic glass material. It's almost like acrylic. However, it feels surprisingly solid, which is pretty cool. It does not have level risers, and it lays flat on the desk. However, I didn't actually find this to be an issue and my hands got used to it pretty quickly. All right, now this is using Gateron mechanical switches. You can either choose from blues, reds, browns, or yellows. I'm using reds and this is how it sounds. And that is how the Wamir K87 sounds. All right, RGB is obviously the best on the list. It is super bright, super vibrant, tons of different modes, just absolutely beautiful. It absolutely kills RGB. Now, there's actually two sections to it. So it's perky lighting, but the actual keyboard deck, kind of like a ring around it that kind of goes throughout the entire deck of it through the acrylic glass, that's a separate section that you can control the RGB from separately. Um, and then the per key lighting of the actual keys is controlled separately from that. So you get a lot of customizability. If you guys love RGB, this is the keyword to get. I love it. It's amazing. All right, now a huge pro is this is fully hot swappable with three and five pin switches. So this future proofs it. So if you wanna put any switch basically that you want in this keyboard in the future, you can absolutely do that. If you wanna put some KO switches in here, if you wanna put tangerines, whatever, it doesn't matter. You can put it in this keyboard. That's a massive pro. And this uses a detachable USB-C cable for connection. All right, sitting at the number five spot is the Pulsar PK-010. This is super budget friendly at just 50 bucks. All right, build quality is awesome. It feels very premium. On the top is a machined aluminum with these black shiny edges of the metal. It's very, very cool. On the bottom, it's actually a clear plastic that you can see right into the red painted PCB, which is such a cool thing to be able to show your friends when they come over. Now the keyboard's a little light, but it still feels quite solid. Now, as well as this, it also has these strange keycaps that are actually very cool. They're kind of like normal keycaps, but they're just a little bit thinner, which actually lets the RGB light just kind of spread out more. So this keyboard is brighter than a lot of the keyboards, especially at this price point. All right, this is using Altemu switches and you can either pick from blue or red. I do recommend red on this keyboard. And this is the best sounding keyboard on the list coming in stock form. Very crazy that this one is the best sounding one. But yeah, here is the sound test. And that's how it sounds, pretty dang good. All right, RGB is very good for the price point. It's got great brightness, great vibrancy, tons of modes, typical RGB. This is hot swappable with other Altemus, but it does not have a detachable cable, although it's a very nice braided cable that's like a loose fitting one. It's very nice. All right, moving on to the number four spot. This is the Red Dragon K599, sitting at just 53 bucks. All right, build quality is great. It has a single plastic shelf for the base with a very solid feeling metal deck on top of it. It's minimal, but a very clean design and it's extremely solid to type on. But this is a wireless keyboard that uses a 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle for connectivity, so gaming on this is fantastic. All right, the switches are Altemu Reds, which actually feel really good on this keyboard, and the stabilizers are really, really good at this price point, and they come very generously lubed. So as far as typing feel, this is probably the best feeling Red Dragon keyboard. And it also sounds pretty good. Here's the sound test. And that is how the K599 sounds. All right, RGB is typical Red Dragon. It's got a ton of different modes, good vibrancy, good brightness. This is hot swappable with other Altemus and it does use a detachable USB-C cable for charging and or connection on the left side. All right, moving to the number three spot. This is the GK61 starting at just 60 bucks and it has a massive pro with it. All right, build quality is good, although it looks a little bit generic, but that's not an issue. Uh, this thing is also really heavy, especially for not being a wireless keyboard. So yeah, very very, very heavy. All right, this either uses Gateron optical switches or Gateron mechanical switches, but the mechanical switches are where it's at because you can hot swap them. I got blue switches and they feel incredibly tactile and clicky. Here is the sound test.
and that is how it sounds with blue switches. RGB is good, it's got good vibrancy, and it is brighter than your typical keyboard. Perky, lighting, static, rainbow, all these different modes, you won't be let down with the RGB. All right, now the massive pro is if you get the Ganaron mechanical switches, this is actually hot swappable with three and five pin switches which means you can take any switch you want in the future or as soon as you get it and hot swap it into this keyboard, which is a massive pro that is not very common at this price point. And this does use a detachable USB-C cable for connection on the back left side. All right, moving to the number two spot. This is the Techware Phantom 87. This is an amazing keyboard for 46 bucks. All right, build quality is insane at this price point. It uses a metal top deck that feels very thick and solid. Plastics are everywhere else, but they're really, really nice plastics. They're also thick and everything feels well put together. It is really attractive and very well built. It is also really, really heavy. It also has flip up risers and it has a keycap puller built into the base and three different channels that the cable can come out of. All right, this is using Altemu switches and you can pick from blue, brown, or red switches. They feel really good, especially at this price point and the stabilizers feel really good at this price point. Here's the sound test. That is how the Phantom 87 sounds. RGB is really good. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's per key lighting. You got a ton of different modes. There's not really much to say. They did a good job. It is hot swappable with other Altimas, but it does not have a detachable keyboard. And this is in the number two spot because of how much it costs and how good that build quality is and feeling test and stabilizers. This is probably the best keyboard out there for this kind of money. But moving to the number one spot. This is the Royal Kludge RK84. And this is very budget friendly for what you get in this keyboard. This is 80 bucks. All right, now build quality is really, really solid. This keyboard feels great to type on. Now, besides that, it has a skirt around it that you can actually lift off and snap off of it. So if you wanna customize this or paint it, it's very easy to do. This also has magnetic snap-on risers if you do wanna change the height or tilt of your keyboard. And this is a wireless keyboard and you can either use it with a 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle if you wanna game with it, or you can use it Bluetooth if that's what you wanna do, or you can plug it in. And if you do plug it in with your USB-C cable, it has two powered USB type A ports that you can charge your phone with or plug in anything like a mouse, which is freaking awesome. All right, the switches. This is using TTC KS4 switches, which feel really good actually. They feel pretty similar to a Gateron switch. You can choose from red, brown, or blue switches. I'm rocking the browns and this is the sound test. And that is how it sounds. All right, RGB is great. It's very bright. It's got really good vibrancy. It's got a ton of different modes. Per key lighting, obviously you're gonna get all of that in this keyboard, but yeah, the RGB is really good. All right, now the huge pro is this is fully hot swappable with three and five pin switches. So if you want to get into modding your keyboard or swapping switches out or doing anything, customizing your keyboard, this is the best keyboard on the list for that. And it does use USB-C for charging or connection. And this is number one because of how great this keyboard is in stock form, but it's also incredibly easy to mod or customize in the future. Again, guys, if you wanna check out any of the 10 keyboards in this video, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada. But yeah, if you're just trying to get into mechanical keyboards, the Tecra Phantom 87 is fantastic. And if you want to really customize your keyboard, then the Royal Kludge RK84 is a fantastic option. But any of these keyboards, any of the 10 are a fantastic option for a mechanical keyboard. And that's what's so great. Look at all these keyboards, figure out which one you really like more, and then pick the one that you want because they're all fantastic. But if you guys enjoy this video and it helps you out, help me out and throw a like below. And if you enjoy keyboard reviews, gaming mice reviews, peripheral reviews, or desk setups, I do a ton of those. So please consider subscribing below. But this was Consumer Tech Review, and I'll see you guys in the next video.